I'm Dr Stuart Stripling, I'm the scientific manager of the Coastal Laboratory here in Plymouth University. This is our coastal basin in the Coast Lab. It's a shallow water basin, it's filling at the moment. Tomorrow we'll be carrying out some uh, student work in here. The students will be looking at how the waves propagate against the wall. And they'll be looking at the scour of the beach material at the base of the wall. And then they'll adjust the angle of the wall. And look at the scour effects. The interesting thing that the students do in here is they, they use our laser scanning equipment which allows them to accurately map surfaces, dry surfaces. Uh, and so they will have scanned this beach prior to their experiments, prior to filling it with water. They'll run the waves over it and then they'll drain the water out again and re-scan the surface and they'll be able to map the difference due to the forcing conditions that they've put over the beach. Stuart, the, the uh, marine building has been open for about six months now? Yes. And uh, a success? Oh, it's, it is. It's, uh, it's going full steam ahead. We've, uh, we've had four devices in so far, marine energy uh, renewable devices. Um, we've got another one planned to come in next month and then another one in May. Both tidal devices and marine energy conversion devices. And uh, you have one in a you've had one in action today? Yeah? We have. For the last three days we've had Swell in here. That's the, the name of the company. They have a, um, a series of floating platforms which uh, link together and as they oscillate with the wave action they drive pumps which squirts water at high pressure. This is our deep water basin. We can go up to three metres deep in here. At the moment the floor is in the raised level so we can work on it. This is the uh, three platform device I was uh, talking about earlier. Um, it's being dismantled at having completed two days of testing. Uh, you'll see the red pumps on the floor and the floating platform. These have been shipped in from Cyprus. This platform has been deployed in the seas off Cyprus. And the clients come here because they can they can uh, examine the performance of their device, the pressure it generates uh, in the water column, in a controlled environment with repeatable sea states. So how important uh, is, the, is this tank for developing the next generation of renewables? This tank is clearly important for the development of our understanding of the behaviour of devices that convert uh, marine energy into electricity. Um, as we move on from understanding how single devices behave and optimise them, we'll have to start looking at how these, uh, these devices behave as an array or as multiple deployments. And that is the intention at the Wave Hub, which is off the north coast of Cornwall. The type of scales we can work out in this laboratory allow us to examine array deployment and how devices would interact with each other and the sea states that they're in, both in terms of tidal conversion and wave energy conversion.